All right, roller coaster enthusiasts of all ages. It is time again for the IAPA Expo in Orlando, Florida. IAPA Expo was this past week, and the show floor went all out. Now, they had a lot of stuff to reveal this year for 2023 and 2024. So we're going to look in to see what all they were uh, here to unveil as far as amusement parks and roller coasters. First up was uh, Cedar Point's new train for Top Thrill 2, and I believe it was Zamperla that took over the project. Uh, the company Zamperla took over to redo Top Thrill Dragster, as I said in my previous one video, that it's going to have a like a... Four to five hundred foot spike going backwards. So it's going to launch you back and forth about three times. And this is the new train reveal. Uh, looks a lot more comfortable than the other one. Uh, the other train was an Intamin. And I never rode Top Throw. I couldn't bring myself to uh, ride it. But, um, but... Sure, um, I was there a couple years ago, and, and ironically and oddly, like a week after we left, the, that massive accident actually happened a week after we left. We were not down there at the time. And they closed Top Thrill Dragster permanently. They didn't know what was going to happen, and then they announced Top Thrill 2, where I believe they made a deal with Zamperla to come in and fix the ride and uh, reimagine it, if you will. And yeah, it it's it's looking nice now. They're they're really moving along with it. So I I do like the look of the restraints. The train is nice, very bright colored. So. So yeah, Top Thrill 2. The wheels. The wheels look massive. Uh, the front wheels and the back wheels. It, it's, it looks massive. I think it looks sharp too. It kind of gives it that sharp look. So this is really going to be an interesting uh, train for Top Thrill 2. SeaWorld. Also announced their new B&M family coaster, I believe it's called Penguin's Trek, I believe. Yeah, that was announced, and this, I believe, will be SeaWorld's fifth B&M. They have this one, Mako, Kraken, Pipeline. I want to say this is going to be their fifth B&M coaster in SeaWorld, you know, and, and people joke because Cedar, I mean, SeaWorld or Orlando in general is like the B&M capital state of the United States, but Florida literally has, I believe, the most B&M coasters in one state that I know of, and they announced this, and this is going to be a nice family ride. Nothing too severe, nothing too intense. Uh, probably much along the lines of Big Bear Mountain at Dollywood. I do like the look of this train. It looks very comfortable. Restraints look comfortable. And I think this is going to be a very, very smooth ride. It's going to be good for families. Uh, it's going to be good for uh, parents, children. I don't think there are any inversions in this. I don't think so. I think it's just kind of up and down, uh, swerving back and forth, you know, a couple helixes and stuff. But this is going to be a nice fit. This will take uh, the place of the Penguin Encounter, I believe. So that's where this is going. So in 2024, Silver Dollar City announced their revamp on Fire in the hole, I believe it was. And I got to ride the old one. Went to Silver Dollar City some uh, years ago. And 
and you, uh, and it was, it was nice, it, it was okay, I do, I do prefer it over, like, Di uh, Black Diamond at Knoebels, so, but this, um, they announced that they were, I think, getting rid of it. And then they, they're they closing it to revamp it, retrack it, revamp it. And this is the new trains. I like the look of the new trains. Um, of course, you can tell it looks like an RMC. It is RMC. The floor is designed because I guess there's a splashdown or something in part of the ride. So the floor was designed to... Uh, it, with that in mind. So I don't know if the ride itself is going to change as far as the track. If they're going to make diff uh, different things with the track. Put RMC stuff in there. or have to see what um, happens there. I don't think much of a change. I think it's just retracking, new train. And maybe some new elements to it. Uh, theming and new scenes probably. But I do like this car. This car is very sharp. Um, so, uh, Silver Dollar City will be bringing this back to their park in 2024. And I'm really happy they're doing it. Um, and not getting rid of it. Glad they're uh, trying to reuse and revamping it. Circus Circus in Las Vegas has announced Spongebob's Crazy Carnival Ride. And I wanted to uh, address this briefly. I am a huge Spongebob fan. Amongst the millions of Spongebob fans around the world, I am one of them. And Circus Circus Amusement Park in Las Vegas, I believe it is, announced this is going to be very um, Toy Story Mania vibes to it it's going to be an interactive carnival game um i don't know the whole um storyline of the ride but it's going to feature the spongebob characters mr Krabs, squidward spongebob patrick i believe plankton and i'm really really excited to see this i don't think i would ever get there but um i'm really happy that they uh chose to theme this and I think it's going to be a lot of fun for families Spongebob uh, fanatics going to really like it Sally Darkrides has taken this um, project over so um, the layout from what I've seen looks really good basically like Toy Story Mania Toy Story Mania but it's Spongebob themed so yeah this this looks like a lot of fun uh, so any any SpongeBob fan around uh, would love to ride this. Um, so I'm glad Sally Dark Rides took this um, project and is going to um, do it. The layout looks nice. Uh, the characters are always fun. Uh, you see an animatronic Mr. Krabs here. Which, uh, he's big. He's a big animatronic. And, yeah, it's exciting. I'm, I'm really happy to see that they're doing something like this. Uh, Sally Dark Rides have, have, has done all kinds of different dark rides. Whether it be haunted houses, interactive games, and other things. All right. Well, the final. So, Comet. Hershey Parks Comet announced that they were getting new trains. And here they are. Brand new trains. New system. New, um, uh, New system for the, the ride itself and new trains. Now, P 
PTC and Hershey Park got together and decided this. Hershey Park's comment has been around since 1946. There are really a lot of mixed feelings about this. A lot of people are not happy that the buzz bars are going away. They are not particularly happy that uh, it's it feels like it's going to lose its old, old, old charm. Sharp-looking trains, though, very bright. Um, but if you do see, you look at it closely, and the lap bars are literally going to be like what you, you have on Twister at Knoebels. That's basically that. And I think it's very similar to Thunderhawk at Dorney Park. So very um, same, similar trains. The restraints are similar. Personally, I'm going to find it weird riding Comet, you know, in a um, capacity where it feels like like I'm riding Twister, Knobles, or Thunderhawk. So, it, it's going to be different. <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. I'm going to miss the buzz bars. Of course, I'm going to miss the buzz bars. But we'll have to see how this goes. So IAPA, IAPA show floor really had a lot to give this year. They really went out. Uh, there were there were a couple here that I, I didn't get to mention. I know um, a great uh, good gravy at Holiday World announced theirs. Um, Falcon's Flight, I think it's called, announced theirs for uh, the Saudi Arabia. Um, one thing I will do, I will, uh, because the Falcon's Flight has a lot of things I want to talk about, I will probably make a separate video on that. Um, because there are a lot of things I want to talk about that coaster. A uh, world record-breaking roller coaster. But there's a lot of uh, different uh, things I want to talk about with that ride just by itself. Uh, so, But I will probably do a separate video for that. But all in all, IAPA went all out. Amusement parks uh, went all out this year. I know one, you, one train you did not get to see was Dorney's. Iron Menace, but I'm sure when the time comes, when they roll that into the park, they will reveal it there at the park. So, thank you, IAPA in Orlando. You always do a great job setting up and revealing all these things for us. Thank you to the board of IAPA. It's great that we can all see this and get to get a better idea of what we're in for for the following year. Great attractions. All the companies always go out, go all out with new ideas and new things. And we in the theme park community are very grateful for it. Because it keeps us coming back. You know, everything that's new, you keep us coming back. So, thank you so much. And IAPA 2023.